Multiplication. We've learned many different strategies when we're working through multiplication. We're going to take this like what we did in the classroom and apply it to a different multiplication problem using a whiteboard. Think of a one digit number between 0 and 10, oh, greater than 5, less than 7. You're right, it was 6. And we're going to multiply that number, not like we did up here, by 9, we're going to multiply this number by 8. It's going to be a little bit less than that number. You probably look up there and you could see a strategy to use. We're going to start off with the array. So we're going to go 6 rows by 8 columns. Six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. Like I said, those are just lines, Mr. Shirley. Yes, they are. But if you take these and you fill in the gaps, then you get the correct answer. Look at the gaps between the two lines and the one on the bottom and the same thing here one two three four five six seven and eight so six times eight six rows and eight columns gives us this number right here how many are there Some of you know the answer. Some of you are counting. Others are trying to figure it out a different way. Using this strategy, this is called an, yep, it's called an array. Like this right up here, this is our array. And we're gonna do, we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and 48. So we get 48 squares or rectangles as they may be were created by making an array of six rows by eight columns. Well what do we do down there? We where to go? We did another strategy. The other strategy is called skip counting. We'll do it S K I P C O U N T I N G. Skip counting. Counting, as it may be. So we start off with 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and 48. Look what we did. We skipped count of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. We skipped count of eight times. We can use this. We can really use this to do a different another strategy that looks a lot similar to this one. 
can you find a strategy that looks similar to that one? Well, let me grab the boy and see, see what's going on. Where did it go? Okay, we're going to do it again. Okay, this time I'm going to draw this is called a. I know it's a line segment, but we're going to call it a line. This is going to be our line. We're going to have a beginning and end. Yes, it's a line segment. But we call it number line. Okay? We're going to start with uh, zero. And we're going to jump by sixes. Not nine times, but how many times? You're right. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got to extend that line. So plus 6, plus 6, plus 6. I can just do all my plus 6's up here just to get it out of the way. And I can remember my 6's. 6, 12, 18. What do we do with our skip counting? Yeah, hey, there it is. 24, 30, 36, 42, and correct, 48. Still getting the same answer. This is awesome. So we're really looking at different strategies. So let me write the title up there. It's called a number line. So we did an array. We've done a number line. We've done skip counting. How many different strategies can we come up with? Let's see, we've got an array, we've got skip counting, we've got our number line. Which other ones do we look at? Okay, you're going top to bottom so you see repeated addition. Okay, so I'm adding my sixes. How many sixes did I add there? Okay, eight, eight. So it's one. Plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight. Okay, <clears throat> and this is the strategy that I see in the classroom frequently when you're adding this many numbers. Hmm. Six plus six is twelve, and then I think six plus six is. 12. 6 plus 6 is 12. 6 plus 6 is 12. So I've added all my 6s. Now I have to add my 12s. 10, 10, 10, 10. Or I can do 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 10, 20, 30. Okay? 40 plus 2, 4, 6, 8 equals. 48. Repeated addition. Can I put that title up there? Repeated addition. Repeated addition. I love it. You guys are awesome. Repeated addition. And that fell to the floor too. So I need to get one more. This next one. I like to make a house. Because in the house, this wonderful family lives. In this wonderful house and they don't like telling lies they like telling facts we call this the fact exactly fact family the fact family so with this fact family we do our in our house we have uh, Señor Ocho y Señorita Seis and the 48. Uh, 48. So we have 8, 6, and 48. So these are our numbers in our fact family. And what operation can we do with 8 and 6 to get to 48? Operation means addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Which operation will we use? 
Exactly. Multiplication. And how would you get from 48 down to... Yep, that would be division. So here we go. 8 times 6 equals... Yes. That means 6 times 8 equals... Exactly. It also means that 48 divided by 6 equals... Yes. And 48 divided by... is equal to... Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's recap before we finish up. During our lesson, we were looking at different ways to show multiplication, such as groups of. We really haven't even done a groups of yet. That's another strategy. Jumps of, rows of. So first we started with our, what is that called? The yep, array. Then we did our... Yes, skip counting. After that was... Excellent. And then we did... And finished up with the... Excellent. You guys rock. Hang in there. Comment on the bottom. What did you... Which, which strategy do you prefer? Why? And... You can even do another problem for me down low and tell me how you answered that problem.